check this out. It's probably several weeks later. I finally got, oh man, probably five truckloads of branches and sticks that I pulled out of the woods and everything like that. I got that carried away and dumped and finally got some loads of gravel in here. I'm just standing way back by the tree line, you can see. And now there is so much more space here. So view from the camper, there's a lot, a lot more yard space, if you will. Um, it's much better than grass in my opinion because I don't want to deal with the upkeep of that. But um, yeah, a lot more parking if need be. I mean, I could put a whole other rig over here if I wanted to. <laughs> Not saying I'm getting another rig right away, but we'll see. It would be nice at some point to have something. But yeah, so I definitely need at least another load. I've got to kind of extend this. I'm going to take it right to the tree line here with more gravel. And I still got some stumps poking out that I'd like to cover up and just put a little more through here. So definitely another load for sure. And there are other spots I want to... There's a big dip here in the driveway. I'd like to just fill that in a little bit better and fill in this area in here a little bit better so that when I barbecue I'm not breaking my ankles trying to get to the barbecue. Yeah, definitely pleased with it. It made a huge difference. Um, I've been wanting, wanting this done for a while so now it's at least started and this is still a little bit mushy. It's going to take some time to pack down. I didn't have any fill to put in here so obviously it took a little more gravel because uh, the gravel was kind of being used as fill and such, but this itself, just this area, let me move over here. This whole area that I needed done um, took two loads of gravel. And obviously, like I said, I'm going to get a third one, but hopefully that should do it for this over here. And then obviously there's some spots I want to fill in around the camper and the driveway. Got the scoot out. I have to go write my, not write my, do my full motorcycle license test today. So I'm a little nervous, but hopefully it'll go all right. It's been almost a year since I got this thing, and today is the day I go do my full, which means I'd be able to drive when it's dark, not that I plan to, and take a passenger and, yeah, drive any kind of motorcycle once I get this license. Cross your fingers for me. And if you are wondering what in the world this is doing here, that's a whole <laughs> whole other story. Um, yeah, so my truck did not pass safety inspection because the box, uh, the floor of the box is bad. You can tell by the outside it looks absolutely fine, and it does, so it's kind of a shame, but the floor of the truck bed is, is no good. It's hardly hanging on, so yeah, I had to get another box. I was lucky enough to find one not far from here, maybe 15, 15 minutes away, and I was lucky enough that it is red. It's filthy right now. I do have to clean it up and wax it. Hopefully that'll make it less dull in color, and I think it's close enough that you won't really notice a difference. Um, the colors probably don't match perfectly, but it might be close enough that you might not notice once it's cleaned and waxed. So yeah, just another project, right? <laughs> so I have to get this thing taken off at some point and get the other one put on. Take those fender flares or whatever you want to call them, these things here. Take those off and try to put them on the new box and get that slapped on the truck and get this thing safety inspected again. What else do I have to tell you guys? So yeah, this box is actually in pretty good shape really. It's uh, well uh, obviously it's in much better shape than that one over there. The box, um, the guy said it came from Arizona so 
here things rest so easily. I mean, I live on a peninsula on the Atlantic Ocean, so our stuff rusts really fast here, but this box is in really good shape. And obviously there's some cosmetic stuff, like there are some scratches on here, but what I'm gonna do is put some type of a rock guard. So I'm gonna have like a black rock guard strip along top of here to cover up those scratches. That'll make a big difference, but the rest of it, I mean, it's filthy right now, so it's probably hard for you to tell, but it's really not that bad. Um, I might put my, what do you call it, box liner in here. Might do that. I need to clean the leaves and stuff out of it, but all around it's, it's an okay shape, really. I mean, like I said, it's in much better shape than the one I've got now. So, yeah. I guess I want to keep the old girl on the road for a few more a few more years because I mean definitely cost me. I think it was like a thousand dollars for the for this box, but the truck's not in bad shape itself, so I'm gonna keep it on the road a little while longer. It only has a hundred and fifty thousand kilometers on it. Plenty of life left. So yeah, I think that's all I got for now. Just a little update, just to show you the yard <laughs> that's coming along. Um, like I said, I do need to get more gravel in here. Got my motorcycle license test today. Wish me luck on that. Hopefully I get it with no problems. And my truck box. That's the next project I've got to get done so I can get this thing drivable legally you know what I mean so yeah um, I'm not too worried about this that's me I did this with spray paint um, this is white and you're not gonna see it it's gonna be behind the cab but I might clean it up and just spray it with my spray paint for the hell of it but yeah that's all I got guys take care Thank you.